Hi, it's Britt, and in this video, I'm going to talk about what it means to have your natal moon in the sign of Sagittarius. So what is the moon sign? The moon sign represents our inner self, our emotions, our habitual patterns and responses to life, our childhood, our upbringing. It's this deep inner part of ourself, our, our heart, right? along with Venus. Venus is also the heart. Um, and it also can show in a man the type of woman that he can see as his wife. So, Sagittarius moon. <laughs> These um, wild, crazy people. Oh my goodness, how are we ever going to describe them? They are completely insane in all ways. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Um, now, <laughs> this moon sign is like the crusader for a cause. They, they love to fight for something and their natural um, instinct and, you know, expression of their emotions is to be passionate and enlivening and inspiring. Um, so they can do really well at motivating people, um, although there can be at times a, a lack of ability to really empathize with someone um, because they would rather just bring them up, right? Like, so rather than actually understanding or feeling where someone else really is at, they they can be like the you know, the spiritual bypassers or the, you know, whatever they call toxic positivity people on a more negative sense that can be manifested with the Sagittarius moon. But it's actually because of their, their giftedness to see the bigger picture and to realize that emotionally, you know, the emotions that you're currently in, you're not going to be in forever, you are going to reach new heights, you're going to you know, transform from this and, and move on to greater things. And they, they have like a deep intuitive knowing of that for all people, um, which is actually a spiritual gift. Like they are amazingly gifted at being the inspiring people, the uplifting people, the, the bright shining, um, you know, crusaders for a cause, you know, the grass is going to be greener over there. Let's just get over there. That's what the Sagittarius moon person says. Um, although, you know, sometimes people can, can feel that they are insensitive to them. Like, um, I, and it's just funny. I'm, I'm going to talk about lots of positive things about you guys. Don't worry. But, you know, in, um, my grief, you know, with the, the loss of my husband, um, I have felt at times that, you know, Sagittarius moon people were those people that like were prematurely egging me on to, you know, be recovered and healed and, you know, um, you're going to be fine. Everything happens for a reason. And it's like, no, dude, I just went through like the most devastating shit ever. I need to just be sad right now. Right. So that's just something <laughs> um, that can happen with Sagittarius moon people. But they also do this to themselves, right? Like sometimes they don't even allow themselves to fully feel where they're at because they're already off to, you know, greater heights and, you know, higher planes of existence, which can be good. You know, they never get, they never get stuck. They never get bogged down by um, things, people, circumstances, emotions, they can always move on and they can always, you know, move physically, travel physically. Um, they can always get to where they need, they need to go. Right. But, you know, sometimes they can miss the, what's going on in the, the moment. Right. Um, so this moon sign is like traditionally, um, what's that word that they would call them? Like the, the travelers, the, the free spirits, like, um, and actually the, the happy, joyful, um, childlike ones. Um, so it, it can be a very good place for having a strong sense of like happiness and morals. Um, and like, 
you know, they, they have strong beliefs about what life should be and they can be very gifted teachers and like I said, motivators, um, experts on, you know, their field and, and they really like, if they are coming from a heart centered place, um, they can be some of the most truly amazing and inspiring people on the planet. And, um, you know, really just like, if you need a boost, like they're, they're great energy to be around. Like, I know, um, my hairdresser is a Sagittarius sun, or no, sorry, a Leo sun Sagittarius moon. And like, I always get like a certain level of motivational upliftment um, from from her energy, uh, just from getting my hair done. And um, that's something that they have that's a gift. So it's, um, it's very obvious with this moon sign too. I feel like, you know, if there was a quiz like how to tell if someone is a Sagittarius moon. Well, you'll know, okay? <laughs> you'll know because of their exuberance and their inner warmth and excitement and even like a, it's like a childlike um, enthusiasm. And um, yeah, it, it's an obvious placement for the moon, um, I feel. And you're going to want to look at with this one, you're going to want to look at Jupiter's sign as well. So what is their, um, yeah, what is their Jupiter sign? Because they're kind of working together um, with this moon sign. So um, a more negative manifestation of this, this placement could be that sometimes they, um, on a very, like if we have other things going on in the chart that would denote um, selfishness or, you know, maybe narcissism or something, um, it, these people can delude themselves and others. Now, this is something not commonly talked about, about fire and moon signs, but um, <laughs> fire and moon signs can be like some of the most like full of shit people ever. Um, and I'm a fire moon sign, so I'm not dissing you guys. I am straight up dissing myself too. Like, and it, it's not like necessarily coming from a, like a malicious place, but they just, because inwardly, like their emotions are so inspired and like grand and like it, it like fire moon sign people can be so delusional because like they're not very grounded in what's actually happening in the world or in their life. They live in like this, you know, world where they're the hero and they're the star of the movie and the movie is their life. And it's like, it, there just is a potential, especially with Sagittarius moon to be ungrounded and, um, you know, a little bit, what are people saying now? Delulu, right? Delulu. And even more than some of the other moon signs, um, Sagittarius moon can have this idea of what their life is and um, that perception can be very off, right? And so with all fire moon signs, but especially Sagittarius moon, it's a good idea to like, you know, question yourself, okay, what is what I feel really true? right? And like on the worst level, like if we have other things going on, it could manifest as someone who is actively lying um, or like lying so much that they, they actually believe their own lies. Like that's like the fire moon sign to Lulu level, right? But on like the more minor level for a Sagittarius moon person who's just actually more grounded and, you know, a little bit self-aware, it could just manifest as like not quite seeing themselves clearly or like maybe they overestimate their abilities right or they they over promise and under deliver right that's going to be the problem when we have like such a jupiterian personality so in my opinion sagittarius moon people are some of the most strongly jupiterian personality or jupiter jupiterian i don't know how you would say that jupiter ruled these people are ruled by jupiter and Jupiter is the planet of luck. So this can be a very lucky placement. This can be, like I said, with the positive, you know, aspects of this, this can be a very 
also spiritually in tune, like gifted person who, you know, flows with the beat of their own drum and like they can be very inspirational and very in tune with like something higher and like higher messages of, of God or like total delusion, right? It, it kind of depends on, you know, the Jupiter sign, the rest of the chart, what's going on here? Because this moon can be like, it, with all the mutable moons, there's possible manifestations of it that can really differ, right? Because we've got mutable energy that can be a little bit all over the place. So it's kind of like, you know, what are you going to get with this one, right? But um, <laughs> I actually, like, I hope this isn't sounding negative because this is my favorite moon sign ever. Like, for me personally, like, I have Jupiter and Sagittarius, Moon, Mars, and Leo, Venus, and Aries. I freaking love these people, right? So I'm just, but, like, when I give my, my videos, like, I want to actually help people, right? Like, I don't want to just say all the good things. I want to say what you have to look out for, too, when you have this placement or you are with someone that has this placement or you know someone that has this placement, right? we got to, like, be real here too so um <laughs> but I, I love you guys I think you guys are the most fun people that could ever be really right but if you're seeking someone who's going to be like really emotionally present with you and like you know feeling for you and like empathizing with you and like you know being sensitive to your needs it's not this person <laughs> unless they have other things going on, because they, that's not their giftedness. That's just not their emotional strength. It's just not, right? And we all have our own strengths, right? Like, you know, I'm a Leo moon and I can sometimes not be that person either. Like I'm off in my own grand reality too. And I'm sometimes I'm not really fully there, you know? So the, the fire moon's giftedness is their ability to see things from a higher perspective and you know always like grass is greener especially Sagittarius moon and like be motivating and inspiring and you know emotionally they're going to be able to talk themselves off the ledge and like be able to stay probably consistently happy even in a wide variety of circumstances unless we have other things going on like squares to Saturn or Pluto um which, which could happen here but um Generally, for the most part, these people are often lucky. They have like a an emotional buoyancy where they just, they bounce back from anything and you can't keep them down. And, you know, when they start actually like stepping into a more teacher role and a more like, um, yeah, motivator role, they can be very gifted at that and very inspiring and, and very, yeah, really um, exciting people to be around like you you don't know what you're gonna get sometime and they can be very funny <laughs> they can be like downright hilarious like you can be you know laughing your ass off with them and that's something that emotionally they need they emotionally they they need to laugh they need to joke around they need to be active and move around and travel far and wide in this life they can tend to be some of the most you know biggest travelers because you know this is different than some of the other moon signs like this moon sign has an emotional need to move around a lot and like in far distances right we're talking Sagittarius the ninth house and they have an emotional need to like on the higher side to actually you know study um and like learn like higher learning we have Sagittarius the ninth house you know that aspect of higher learning but what's really more fulfilling to them is like allowing their intuition to teach them rather than just like from some book right so like you can see people that are dogmatic like and religious with this moon but it's more common to see like the the self-taught person with this moon so um yeah and they could be gamblers right like they can be willing to take a chance on anything because they know that things are going to work out, right? So, but the funny thing is, is that, like, you, you would think that um, being careless and reckless and doing lots of crazy things, like, that, you know, maybe other people's people wouldn't do could work out badly. But often, a lot of the time, things do work out well for them. Um, and um, you know, people can be shocked at this because they're like, looking at the Sagittarius moon person, like, how are you doing that? How are you acting like that? How are... And, but 
you know, it's sort of that inner belief of like, well, everything's going to work out. It's all going to be okay. I can do this reckless thing or I can, you know, do this. It doesn't have to be reckless. It could be just a courageous thing, right? Or uh, they can be very brave too with this placement. And men with this placement, they don't want to feel tied down um, in a relationship. And the woman that they actually do end up marrying needs to be kind of like a free spirit and let them roam, you know, let them, you know, watch their sports on the TV and do, you know, go to um, whatever, Italy on a whim if they feel like it without her, right? Okay. <laughs> Depending on the rest of their chart, they could have other things going on, but they, they want to feel free to roam. And if they do feel free, um, they can love you forever. They, they, um, like, it's not that they're incapable of being loyal because of their grass is greener mentality. Like if you're a fun and exciting person, you can keep this moon sign, um, stuck with you. <laughs> Although they, they can't feel like they're stuck with you. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's my description of Sagittarius Moon. I hope it wasn't too hurtful. And they, these are the people. They will fight you back. They will say, that's not true. I'm not like that. So I'm, I'm waiting for that. Okay? I'm waiting for that, you guys. But I love you guys. And I hope that was helpful. And we'll talk soon. I do offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. I do a personal natal chart session. And I also do a synastry session. My links are below. And yeah, love to know your experiences of having this moon and or being with someone with this moon. What are your observations as well? I love to see your comments, you guys. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.